Welcome to the I Investment Management Fixed Income Update. My name is Wes Marcello and I'm Director, Client Portfolio Manager at IEIM. With me today to discuss market is Dominic Siciliano, who is Senior Vice President, Head of Public Fixed Income. Dominic leads the fixed income team for both rates and corporate strategies. Good morning, Dominic. How are you today? Very well, Rose. Thanks again for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you for being here. My first question today is, what are your thoughts on the impressive rally that we've seen in the bond market since October? Ten-year yields in Canada are down by more than 80 bips, which means prices are up. Do you think that the bond market through is behind us? Well, kudos to my team for really put, pinpointing the Bank of Canada in terms of the terminal rate for the end of this year. I think the last time we spoke, we had hinted at four and a quarter was an area we thought we'd probably get a bit of a reprise uh, from the bank. I think um, if we look at the chart uh, brought to you by Adil and the economics team, thank you for that. You will see that the terminal rate is slightly higher than four and a quarter, but we're no longer pricing in maybe something in the five space or five and a quarter. So the, um, the central bank's um, aggressive rate hikes have had an impact on the economy. We felt it. Um, and I think now it's um, we're more data dependent uh, inflation is coming off. The rally is very significant uh, to your mention uh, that, Rose. If you look at the total return of just the, the benchmark index with a duration between 7 and 8, uh, the 30th of September, the total return year to date was minus 11.78%. And if we look at the performance just today on uh, December 14th, for example, uh, we're looking at minus 8 and 85, 8.85. So looking at 3.3 uh, 3.4 uh, total return, and that's just two and a half months. So that rally was really significant. And now the clients that followed our, our advice and, and you know kept invested and keep kept investing in the marketplace, you made 3% return in two and a half months on that portion since September. And you're, you know, we're always very excited about making 4% annually with a term deposit. So just to give you the, the power of the rally and rates and how it's been impactful in, uh, in this uh, last couple of months. Yeah, it was quite impressive. So now that yields have compressed that much, uh, if we look at credit, so I know we're looking into a recession, so earnings might be under pressure. Do you still, or are there a portion of the credit market that either you were worried about or where you see value at this point? So it's an excellent point. There's two things at this point. So if you think that we're near the terminal rate, you know, plus or minus 25 basis points, we're going to start shifting our thinking from pure duration play to curve positioning. So as rates rise, you tend to be in a flattener. So you tend to have more long, longer dated uh, assets in your portfolio because the, the front end of the curve will will sell off more. Uh, I think now it start it start to the market's pricing us to maybe reverse those, and we've started that. So we've started reducing our flatteners and positioning ourselves in steepeners uh, for the first queue. And in conjunction, as I mentioned in previous um, um, little get-togethers, you know, we we kept some powder dry on the credit side. We've always been improving the the, the quality of the names in the portfolio and the credit worthiness. Now we think it's time to deploy. So we'd like uh, some credit spreads here at these levels. Um, you know, there's still. There's still a lot of things that can happen, especially if the stock market, uh, the bottom would fall out. Uh, but I think the premise here is that the Canadian IG uh, side is there are some names, with some good um, spread uh, or total yield, if you like, relative to other things. So it's a good place to put uh, your money right now. So we're starting to uh, invest more aggressively. Exactly. And we have on screen now, it's the yield of an Ontario five-year bond versus a dividend yield uh, rate on the TSX composite in Canada. Um, it's still like about a 30 bips as of today of, of, uh, of peak up. Is that interesting for a short-term uh, um, horizon? Absolutely. You know, you're looking at something that's a very high quality, extremely liquid, uh, that's giving you a little bit of pickup. I think it gives you also an idea that the valuations in the stock market, uh, you know, they're, we're not reached the bottom maybe yet. Personally, I think it's not a bad area here to maybe put a couple dollars to work on the equity side, but I would not go full in at these levels because I think some of those valuations have to be readjusted. And I think bonds, uh, there's a great case with bonds because the coupon, uh, we talk about the famous cushion, but the coupon is very interesting. Uh, and if we do con see, continue to see a rally in rates as we get to um, and reposition along the curve, there is some total return to go and get uh, in the fixed income space. Great to know. Well, thank you so much, Dominic, for your time. Thank you very much, Rose. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you too.